and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Poppy. We're going to go ahead and take the two decks that we just played with Soraka Braum and Tarek Poppy and kind of combine them together. We'll take one champ from each, Soraka and Poppy. Um, these are champs that kind of go together a little bit. Like, Soraka doesn't have very much power, and so whenever Poppy attacks, it does have the ability to grow the Soraka. Also, if the Poppy is damaged, then Soraka can heal the Poppy whenever it attacks. So we'll kind of see how they, they work together. You know, maybe that will uh, work out well, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't tried this combination before. We're going to have a, with Demacia, we're going to be, you know, kind of having a bunch of Star Springs. You know, like that's going to be part of our ways to win is, is Star Springs. And again, like we had earlier with the Soraka Braum, one Divergent Pass against, so we have that against like the Bandle Tree decks and stuff like that. Um, but then uh, also with Starspring, you know, we'll have like our Broadback Protector that'll be dealing damage to itself and then healing. Um, but we're going to need larger units to block, like units with more health. And that's kind of what Poppy can help with. Poppy can give us some some uh, units with more health. The challengers, you know, like your Screeching Dragon, your Laurent Protégés, we can challenge things that are larger as long as they survive, then they're damaged, and then the Starspring reheals them. Uh, that can always help. Uh, we have a card like Star Shepherd that kind of goes well with both champions for a one drop. A uh, Mountain Goat gets us the gems that can help out both champions. Loping Telescope's just going to be in here because it's such a good card. Now it doesn't really work that well with Soraka, but if Poppy can grow the health of Loping Telescope, um, you know, then then it can actually maybe stay alive and then get healed after that. There's just so many good cards to manifest, and as far as the multi-region followers go. One that could be nice that I wanted to fit in the deck, but we just couldn't quite fit it in the deck would be Yordle Ranger. Yordle Ranger, you know, does have that ability to attack and, you know, grow grow the health of all of our units. And that could be kind of nice in a Soraka deck. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll see how we do here with Soraka Poppy. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. I like, I like Zoe Vi. I like Zoe Vi as a combination. I think that's a good combination. So Fizz Poppy, so this one is going to be a Bandle Tree deck. So we do have that one Divergent Pass. That's a card that we're going to be actively looking for. Um, I think I may just keep this. This should keep us alive. Like, Broadback Protector, awesome. Like, the, the protection with the Protector is good. Alternatively, we could just send these back and look for our champions. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we just don't, don't keep the fours and just look for our champions. Or, or even Divergent Paths. I was thinking that their other way to win besides Divergent Paths is going wide and attacking wide, and that Bright Steel, or the uh, um, Broadback Protector plus the Astral Protection does a good job of shutting down the go wide strategy. I'm going to go Protege next round, Poppy the next round after that, with Sharp Sight available. That's two rounds and four regions. <laughs> I already have four regions. Break their spirits and their swords. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. They are also like a, since they're like the control version, so they're going to be playing like Ravenous Flocks and that kind of stuff. Those things may not always be great for me. I think finding this Divergent Pass will be pretty necessary. To win this, we're not going to be fast enough to be able to kill them before a Divergent Pass. Star Spring would also be a good draw, just to, you know, get the healing in and get Soraka leveled up and all that kind of stuff. Mama's got a gun. Let me guide you. Proud and loud. I understand. Well, Soraka takes some damage. Oh, shuffle buttons. I don't know. Enviolus Fox? <laughs> Yes, love to see it. Our time is nigh. It begins. A 
Maybe we should just attack with the telescope and because Yeah, jump in front of that one one. Okay, so we gotta hope they don't have a second bandle tree. for them. That's the only way that we lose this game, is they have a second, the Bandle Tree. They cannot, for, for what the board's like now, and us having this Broadback Protector, they cannot kill us in damage. So there's, they obviously play three Bandle Trees. There's two others in the deck. They're the only card that can win the game, and, and if they have it, they probably win the game. That's just kind of how it is. Man, Stony Suppressor was honestly a good hit, because we don't get this Astral Protection now. Today's the day I find that hero. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Okay. I am change. Run them through. Aha. Stars fall. I'm just kind of getting rid of. I mean, I guess. I, I guess technically I could go this off. way if I want to keep that alive. Oh no no no! Never mind. That only goes to five. All right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. So this is gonna die anyway. I just I don't want that five five block in my poppy. Right? Like that's that's the problem. Um, our best draw right now, we do, I have two copies of Golden Ages, and that's our best draw right now, because, um, you know, for us to outrace the Bandle Tree, we need more attacks. Level up Soraka. I guess I could have played the Star Shepherd first. I was thinking like this mama is the beast mama. Yeah, doing this twice. So I could draw a card. I had the second bandle tree. Good game. Such the only way we could possibly lose. Okay, so it looks like the same, same deck again. So there's, again, one card we can lose to. They are playing... Yeah, that Golden Ages would have been nice, but... They are playing... Uh, Lulu, so I guess maybe we could lose Lulu. Hey, Smash. Looks like we should maybe be going with two Star Spring and two of the Destroy Landmark. I obviously wish we would have that for this matchup. Potentially, aloof travelers can make them discard Bandle Tree. Potentially. Let's cook them. 
<laughs> yeah, doing this, of course, to try to keep them away from Ionia. Unfortunately, like last time they had a second Bandle Commando. Hit Bandle Tree. Hit Bandle Tree. No, Mini Morph. Oh, I forgot they had Mini Morph. And they just drew the Mini Morph, too. This round. Well, of course they Fizz attack there. They want to trade Fizz with something. They're not... They don't win by damage. They win by... Like, Fizz is just a 1-mana 2-1 in their deck. That's a good hit. They could still play Poppy or Lulu or like Lulu plus I am here to help. other things. Yeah, just zero. Let's just create zero mana loping telescope. How is your flock, little shepherd? They're stronger every day, just like me. I need to find ways to get rid of a, a the Bandle Tree. Alright, I like them wasting their entire round. That sounds good to me. It's not like the challenges, you know, challenges in that great anyway. I don't know. Doubtful that does anything, but... Who knows? They can't possibly kill us unless it's the Bandle Tree. Well, okay. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Over here. How about you? I didn't I didn't consider them playing that card. Okay, that puts me down to zero. That doesn't seem like enough life. Just kill me. Puts me down to six. I can be patient. We're all family here. At least I won't let Pokey Stick kill anything. I'm, I'm of course keeping up Bastion. Man, the third Star Spring. That hurts getting three of those when all we need is. Uh, we need the Divergent Paths, not the Star Spring. No, I don't really do expeditions. No, I just kind of, I just play ranked. I have, you know, have played expeditions before and everything like that, but no, it's not a very common thing. Divergent paths. Sure you will. 
look after our own. All right, team, adventure time. Just means at least another Pokey Stick won't kill if they have another one of those Tristana spells, they could still kill it. And of course I need the the Soraka's the card that draws me all the all the cards, right? Like the, this draws me like cards every single round. That would help me find the divergent paths. Hey, if you don't want to fight anymore, that's a yep, yep, yep. But unfortunately they had multiple mini morphs. One mini morph for the aloof travelers to protect the Andal Tree. For the Soraka. We definitely change it. And play two of these Star Springs and two Divergent Paths. With Demacia in our hearts, we fly. Unfortunately, no overwhelm. And unfortunately, the game's over. But, you know, we got to play a Cythria, so that's cool. Yeah, labs are cool. There's definitely nothing wrong with playing labs. I don't know why I just passed and not attacked. Whatever. Anyway. Alright, so I guess we have to change that. I guess we gotta play two divergent paths. The thing is, like, if we're not playing that matchup, we don't want divergent paths, but we just have to have it for there. So we're gonna make that change. We're gonna play two divergent paths instead of stars instead of three star springs. Yeah, I know we're we're never gonna face tree again once we make that change. Okay, so usually Guiding Touch, Soraka, Broadback Protector, very good. Like, that's what our deck's kind of built around, but they don't have any chance of beating dragons. This is... We talked about this with Soraka Braum. This is why you can't play Soraka right now, because you just can't beat dragons with Soraka. It's just kind of not... It just doesn't really work, unfortunately. The dragons are big enough, like the, the one six, the one six body, um, you know, doesn't doesn't threaten killing dragons, but they can kill Soraka. They get they can get through. They get bigger. They're with all the fury and um, and then fight spells. The those last two decks that we're that we're just playing against, that's the kind of matchup that Soraka can win. The only thing is you can't beat Bandle Tree, that one specific card. But besides that, that's a great matchup. That's exactly what we want to face. Dragons, on the other hand, is the exact top. Like, this is the worst matchup. So we just lost twice to the best matchup, and now we have the worst matchup. So that's not good. To heal and protect. They are nothing. I understand. So fairly obvious sharp side on their side. Could technically be single combat as well, but it's one of those two. Okay. So that works out very well for us. That's a great trade getting Siobhan out of here for that. That's a great trade. The single combat is why I didn't want to play Poppy, because I didn't want them to be able to use this 3-2 and kill Poppy with a single combat. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. I really hope they don't have another one. And which is probably why I should have blocked the 3-2, not the 2 one. Like that's that's my bad. Yeah, like that's that was just a bad decision by me. I should have blocked the three two. That, yeah. I can't blame the matchup for that. That was just a bad decision by me. Oh, 
Hello, Divergent Paths. Don't need you anymore. Don't know what we do against Screeching Dragon. Lurk, yeah, Lurk could be a very good choice. Lurk is, Lurk is very strong. I don't, ex it won't be nerfed soon. There isn't going to be any nerfs until January. This is going to be the next time that there are any nerfs, so you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about anything being nerfed right now. You really have the freedom to craft anything because there's not going to be any, any changes uh, until January. So yeah, Lurk is a good deck that you could, you could build. That's uh, something you think you'd enjoy. I think you can probably see from these last couple of rounds why. Like, what's my opponent doing? Why don't they? Huh. I like. This is a terrible attack by them. They should just have one of the, those things challenge my only thing that that I want to block there. I don't really know what they're doing. Good to see you too, I own at my creations. No, I wouldn't necessarily say that Lurks is a free win deck, no. I don't think there really are any, like, free win decks. Whatever that does mean. We're at four. We just don't have any, any chance. Nine mana obliterate two. Oh, straight in check. Okay, cool. This is why you can't play Soraka right now, because of dragons. Dragons is super popular. Can't play can't play Soraka versus dragons. So really what we should have been doing is we should have been playing more Soraka decks last metagame. Last metagame was great for Soraka. This one, now that they buffed up dragons a whole lot, it's really, really hard to play Soraka right now. This one though, this is a this is a deck that attacks a lot. Zed, Poppy, Lulu. They're gonna be attacking. Hopefully we can do okay blocking. Now with that being said, this isn't necessarily a great blocking hand. Um, I don't think we want to keep two things that cost four, and I don't really want to mulligan Poppy. So I guess that means that we're mulliganing these three. I'm not exactly sure how deep lines up against dragons. I'm not, I don't know how deep, like deep versus dragons. Cause that's the important thing right now. Uh, chats are like asking about like some different decks of like they are doing well and stuff. That's the important thing is your deck has to have a, at least a serviceable dragons matchup because of um, all the buffs they gave to dragons and so how popular dragons is right now. You'll soon understand my methods. And This might be the. Is Soraka the worst card in the in like the worst champion in the entire metagame? Like the entire worst champion against dragons that there is. Like it may be. You you could probably play Soraka Tom Kench against dragons, you know, but that's not because of the really the Soraka part, but because of the Tom Kench part. Like Tom Kench 
is okay against dragons with Tom Kench with heal and stuff. There may not be a worse champion against dragons, though. I'll show you how it's done. Off we go! Hold out. Okay, we don't have the attack token round four. So because we don't have the atta attack token round four, um, you know, sometimes if we did have the attack token round four, I wouldn't be playing this and I'd be holding up sharp sight to go along with Poppy. But since we don't, we're going to go ahead and play it. And then we'll just play Soraka to block or the Trickster. I'm going to just pass, see what they do. Okay, so no champion for them. That's good. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. I am here to help. Come on, Rip. Man, that thing's big. Go no further. I don't necessarily expect this is going to work out great for me. I guess I should have played something on three. But, you know, I play, you know, Soraka on three, then they get to play, like, Lulu or Zed or something like that. Maybe I should have gone Sharp Sight, Block, Young Witch. If this works, this takes out two poppies from their deck. Like, that's awesome, as this works. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Unfortunately, I can't attack now. Every day, just like me. Wow. Wow. This way. Go. So this puts me down to one, two. All right, so two, five. Alright, so that takes away the two permanent elusives. Those two were just elusive this round. Be at peace. Take heart. I want to be able to heal this. Star Shepherd afterwards, right? Because we want to keep on healing stuff with Soraka. Over here. Silent as death. Could be playing the goat. Yeah, maybe we should play the goat. I was kind of thinking that I would want like single combat right here, but maybe we should play the goat and got that gem. I don't see the path to victory. It's too bad if we had like two more life. Just too many elusives. And obviously we got too far behind at the beginning. I Basically what I should have thrown away this, I I wanted to keep the, the Loping Telescope alive because, you know, buffing it with Poppy at the time. 
that was my big mistake. I should have thrown away that loping telescope earlier. I could have saved like six life. If we do that, if we have six more life here and no loping telescope, like we're fine. And like we probably win this actually with Poppy Golden Ages. We probably win that if I would have just blocked that loping telescope earlier. Their way is unclear. But I didn't know, you know, I didn't know they were gonna have you know six elusives attacking me in the next two rounds. So mistake by me. Not blocking with that loping telescope. Okay, so we want the goats. The goats will just trade with Lurkers. Screeching Dragon, not amazing in this matchup, because their units get too large. But Screeching Dragon with Astral Protection, that could be good. Triple Goat. Very fortunate for us, them missing that Lurk. Shards of the Mountain is interesting, but you now we're just going to keep on getting bodies. There's no re use reason to use a gem on the Mountain Goat. See what I've learned? Striking for four. So I was fortunate earlier for them missing the lurk, but not fortunate for them creating a death from below. Really hope they don't attack. Please just pass. Oh, they had the snap draw swarm to make another death from below. That is a killer. Oh, that's a killer. Man, that hurts. That's a really good quality card, obviously, to have, because I can't kill that. It's a big responsibility to Shepherd Stars. Man, that was a perfect round for them. Death from below, put it back on top, get a new death from below. Yeah, this has been pretty impressive. Can you tell much? Tell me how much you're trying for. All right, six. So 
There's no way for me to survive. This was awesome. These two, that, that was just awesome getting all those. Those live, yeah, like, that was great. That was great. I, I just, I'm taking lethal damage. I'm taking, yeah, I'm taking 12. Just use their mana perfectly. That was just awesome. Very good threats, you know, like those one mana units. Really went well for them, but that's kind of how it is. So, all right, so, um, <laughs> one in nine with two different Soraka decks today, and we were pretty fortunate for the one win, to be honest. This just isn't the, the metagame for Soraka. Everything's going big. Everything's attacking for a lot. Um, you know, lots of power there with the Lurkers and everything. There's not, like, your just Noxus decks running around it. And even your Noxus decks that we played against too early that should be great matchups, they had a card that we couldn't beat with Bandle Tree. You know, like that... Bandle Tree is exactly what you want to face every single time here. Everything except for the Bandle Tree. The other 37 cards, right? Like, you can handle those other 37 cards really easily. Great matchup. But there's that one specific card with Bandle Tree. And we only had one Divergent Pass against them. We did dr kill one Bandle Tree with a Divergent Pass, but they had another, and then the next opponent killed us with that also. So this just this deck just isn't very well positioned right now, and just this champion's not very well positioned. I think if you really want to play Soraka, the only way you can do it is with Tom Kench. I don't think it it doesn't look like you can do it without Tom Kench. Uh, to make it like a Soraka deck. And and you probably could play Soraka Tom Kench, you know, like that that deck's still probably pretty decent. I don't know. I haven't tried it in the new metagame, but you know, there probably is, but you know, people want to see some Soraka Poppy, Soraka Braum. And I I don't see, I don't see how it can really work, but that's too bad. That's too bad. I really like Soraka, and, you know, that's that's too bad, but that's just kind of the world that we're living in right now with Viego and Lurkers and Dragons. These things all easily, easily eat up Soraka. All right, but that's going to be it here for Soraka Poppy. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, if you have any other ideas for Soraka or if you have a Soraka Braum list or Soraka, Pro Soraka Poppy list, sorry, Either of those. If, you, if you're if you playing either of those two champions and you can beat dragons, let me know. Let us know over in the comment section because I don't know how it can really happen. But yeah, let us know. Um, I mean, you could, you could build like a deck that has Soraka in it that just has tons and tons of Invoke and Invoke can handle... Like, this is a good Invoke metagame. Like, you can handle a bunch of stuff with Invoke. You wouldn't really be a Soraka deck. I don't really know what Soraka would do. But, you know, like you could just have Soraka in an Invoke deck, I guess. So, that's something you could do. But... Anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Soraka Poppy. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.